Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on mathematical economics series, we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a brother in the Telegram channel regarding, uh, you know, the producers uh, surplus, consumer surplus or the dead weight loss. We will see what is the question exactly. The question is like this. A tax of uh, uh, $0.25 dollars is imposed on each bag of potato chips that is sold. Okay, this is the per unit tax. The tax decreases producer surplus uh, by $600 per day, generates tax revenue of uh, $1,220 per day, and decreases equilibrium quantity of potato chips by 120 bags per day. So, the tax, the options are, uh, decreases consumer surplus by $645 per day. We have to see whether this option is correct. Decreases equilibrium quantity from 6,000 to 5,880 bags per day or decreases total surplus of from $3,000 to $1,000 per day or creates a dead weight loss of $15 per day. Okay, so we will see what exactly is the question. First, let's draw our demand and supply curve before the imposition of the per unit tax okay so let us say this is our typical demand curve this is downward sloping and let's say this is our supply curve okay now what does the question asks us the question asks us a tax of 0.25 dollars has been imposed so before the imposition of tax what is the equilibrium quantity let us say Q naught is our equilibrium quantity. Okay. Now, when the tax is imposed, what happens when the tax is imposed? With the imposition of tax, our supply curve will shift by the tax amount. Okay. Let us say it shifts from this is S naught to S1. Let us say it goes here S1. It is obvious when the tax is imposed, supply curve will uh, shift. Uh, towards right towards left here in this case okay now the producers will want to supply less due to the imposition of tax i am very sorry for the background noises i have no control on them okay so back to the question so the question was before the imposition of uh, per unit tax our equilibrium quantity was q naught and let us say our equilibrium price was p naught okay after the imposition of tax of uh, 0 0.25 dollars our uh, supply curve will shift uh, towards uh, left by the tax amount and obviously the uh, producers will uh, producers will supply less amount okay now uh, producers will uh, supply less amount now what the question tells us uh, it says us uh, after the imposition of per unit tax our equilibrium quantity of potato chips has decreases by one 20 bags okay if it is q naught after the imposition of tax our new equilibrium i will not say equilibrium our new uh, supply would be q1 okay that means after the imposition of the per unit tax uh, what is the change in the equilibrium um, quantity we are being given the change that is 125 okay uh, rather it is 120 so this very area is 120 okay uh, so the change in the uh, change in the quantity produced with the imposition of tax of 0 0.25 is 120 bags has decreased okay this is the uh, area or rather the distance between q0 and q1 okay and what happens actually here consumer price will let us say if uh, p naught was the original equilibrium price after the imposition of per unit tax consumers will pay a price of p1 okay obviously they will pay the price because of because they are demanding at this very point and what is the uh, price that suppliers will receive they will receive only let us say this is p2 okay so after the imposition of tax consumers will pay a price of p1 and producers will receive a price of p2 okay now 
this P1 minus P2 is our uh, tax rate. This is our tax rate and which is, uh, what, is uh, what is it? It is 0 0.25. Sorry for the background noise. I have no control on that very variables. Okay. Now coming to the question. Now what does the question tell us? We have to see the effect of the tax. The question tells us uh, the first option is like this. Decreases consumer surplus by $645 per day. Okay. So, can we calculate uh, here the consumer surplus? We cannot because we are not being given the intercept of this uh, demand curve. And consumer surplus is the area which is above the equilibrium price and below the uh, supply curve. If we know this very number, we could have calculated the you know, what you call the consumer surplus. So, this cannot be the option. Okay. Uh, Second is decreases equilibrium quantity uh, from 6,000 to 5,880. So let us see what is it uh, for you. We have 6,000, 6,000 and 5,880. So what is 0? 10 minus 8 is 2. 10 minus 8 is 2. So what we have here? 10 minus 8 is 9 minus 8 is 1. So 120 can be uh, 120 so difference between the equilibrium it is being told here that it is uh, 6000 let us say it is 6000 and this is here 5880 okay but but we don't have actually uh, the information of what could be the demand and supply function here okay so we cannot take these very numbers obviously the uh, equilibrium quantity has changed by 120 so we don't know exactly whether 6000 was being produced at this quantity or whether 5880 was being produced at this very at this at this very quantity okay so we will see uh, uh, later what uh, whether this is correct or not okay uh, the third option is decreases total surplus from $3,000 to $1,000. So we cannot calculate the total surplus also because we need these very numbers here. Okay, uh, consumer surplus or producer surplus or total surplus can be only uh, uh, calculated when we have the intercept of the demand and supply curve. So this cannot be the option. Okay, now creates a dead weight loss of uh, $15 per day. Let us see whether it is correct or not. Now, what is dead weight loss? It is the loss of the economic efficiency that is caused when the equilibrium uh, outcome is not achievable. Our equilibrium uh, outcome would have been this very point. Okay, with the imposition of tax, we have deviated from the equilibrium outcome. Okay, so what is the dead weight loss? Dead weight loss is simply equal to, let us write it here, dead weight loss is equal to one half of uh, uh, p2 p2 minus p1 okay or p1 minus p2 we will write here p1 minus p2 p1 minus p2 that is the price that the consumers pay minus the price the sellers receive uh, into change in the equilibrium quantity that is from q0 minus q1 okay that is the quantity supplied at the equilibrium price at at, at at equilibrium the quantity supplied at equilibrium minus the quantity supplied after the imposition of per unit tax that is simply the area 1 by 2 area of a triangle that is our dead weight loss would be this value triangle that is equal to base what is base uh, base would be here p1 minus p2 the difference between these two is for 0 0.25 0 0.25 into what is the change in the equilibrium it is 120 okay so i will write here 120 so this comes out to be 1 by 2 uh, into it, it can be written as 25 over 100 into 120 so this 2 and 2 gets cancelled what we have here uh, 5 2s are 10, 5 5s are 20, 5 2 1s are 2, 2 6s are 12, 6 5s are 30. So we have 30 hour 2 which comes out to be $15. Okay. So dead weight loss 
of fifteen dollars per day this i guess is the most appropriate option here okay because the dead weight loss would be the area of this value triangle and i have calculated it it is simply if i write it in the simple words it is simply uh, one half of one half of area of this value triangle that is base base into altitude okay that is one by two what is the base base is uh, p1 minus p2 that is 0 0.25 times altitude that distance this very distance this is 120 it came out to be uh, 15 okay so 15 dollars uh, would be the dead weight loss uh, caused by the imposition of per unit tax okay so i guess the correct option should be d option okay let us see uh, what uh, we are being also told that the tax decreases the producer surplus by 600 dollars per unit generates uh, a tax revenue of 1220 okay and what is a uh, tax revenue tax revenue is simply uh, the tax rate uh, tax rate if uh, sometimes you are being told what is the tax revenue tax revenue is simply tax rate times quantity quantity transacted at after uh, after uh, after the imposition of imposition of tax okay so tax rate is uh, 0 0.25 what is the quantity being transacted only this q1 amount of quantity is being transacted so what is uh, uh, if this option could be correct then uh, we have for you eight eight zero okay i'm just trying to uh, make you clear whether this b option would be correct or not for that we need to calculate the tax revenue so we are being told that uh, tax revenue of 1220 dollars has been generated okay so then if this option is correct then what is our quantity being transacted that is for you 880 into tax rate should give us 1220 so let us see whether it is correct or not for that i need to rub this out and do some calculation i am not good enough so we have 0 0.25 can be written as 25 over 100 or i can write it 1 by 4 1 by 4 and we have for you eight eight zero if we divide it so we have uh, four ones are four uh, one is left so becomes 18 four fours are 16 okay 17 18 so this becomes 28 four sevens are 28 uh, 28 so four zero 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 so so it is now uh, correct if this these two numbers are correct okay now what is the quantity uh, quantity transacted when quantity is five thousand eight hundred eighty okay and what is our tax revenue the formula for tax revenue is tax rate into quantity transacted tax rate was 0 0.25 if we assume that this very option is two then what is the quantity being transacted that is for you eight eight zero when we calculate this tax revenue it comes out to be 1470 but the question tells us that only uh, 1220 dollars of uh, tax revenue has been generated so this cannot be the true option so option b is not correct only option d would be correct okay so i hope i make myself clear I was just trying to uh, prove that uh, this cannot be uh, this 5880 cannot be the quantity being transact uh, transacted after the imposition of per unit tax why because uh, we know that tax revenue is equal to tax rate into quantity transacted and which comes out to be uh, we calculated it uh, 1470 but the question tells us only uh, 1220 dollars uh, of being tax revenue has been generated so
so this cannot be the quantity transacted uh, after the imposition of per unit tax i hope i make myself clear and i make it very messy for you people but you can easily understand it thank you